Pretty good. Next Sunday on the Palace, our first black guest. Christ Dillinger, baby! Tune in. There's a nuke in this club. Hey, TV, did we get the mail? Yeah, every day of the week, I be turning up. When she hear my song, I make her want to fuck. Uh, I'm fuck? fuck, got a giant butt. When I step in the club, I'm going to fuck it up. I'm a... Just had to get my drink. <laughs> CEO. Everybody hear me all right? What's up? What's up, everybody? We had some downtime. Had some downtime and uh the real boys are uh, they're, they're heading down to Texas right now. So I said, you know what? I said, I'm going to tune in, jump on the old stream and uh, embarrass myself. I love you back. Uh, I'm going to embarrass myself on some video games. That's the plan. But I wanted to chill out with you guys. Oh, uh, so what's what's everybody doing? What, what day is it? Is it Wednesday? And this fucking hat, this hat's pissing me off already. Doesn't piss me off though because it's Charmonix. I love it. Maybe we can, uh, Q, can we fire up? Uh, I guess I'll talk to you guys for a bit. How's the week going? How crazy was the stream? The stream was. <laughs> the stream was absolutely ridiculous from what I can remember. Oh my God. Brandon was like an absolute pleasure to hang out with. He was so cool. As soon as you walked in, it was like this nah, let's drink whiskey. Let's not eat yet. Let's let it soak in. And let me tell you, it soaked in. I got absolutely tuned up. Maybe uh, maybe it's embarrassing to some people, but not me. I was just laughing my ass off. Uh, we had so much fun with him. And can you guys believe Chris Dillinger? Both these guys, like such huge solids they're doing. Jolly, me, and the rest of the crew. So we're pretty pumped about that. It's going to be awesome. Um, and uh, I, think, uh, I think we're going to meet up with some other people, too, that you're familiar with very, very soon. It's going to be nice. So I guess uh, I just want to chill out with you guys and, and uh, jump on some monkey ball. Monkey ball is, I don't play video games. So when I play this video game, you're going to watch me uh, really like try to figure it out again. It's been like 12 years. The only time I ever played was with, uh, was with Brandon. Brandon, like I had two shots at it and I think I fell off twice. So let's see what's going on. I want the target. Q, you think we can spark up the target? Turkey Tom on the show. It's so funny. I think most people think I know anybody on YouTube. I don't. I've been super busy. There we go. That's what I want to see. Is this? All right, I'm firing this up. I'm already starting round. Oh, hold on. Let's see if this thing connects. Oh, yeah. Epiphany, my old boy. 
And I'll get to that in a second. I got to hit this target hardcore. Merry Christmas. Oh, yeah, you and Biff. Long time, awesome, awesome people. I hope you have a good Christmas, too. Let me just make sure. No, 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 no. All right, let me see if I can get some uh, speed bag. Speed bag. Man, I really got to figure this out again. Stay up. Nice. Yeah, a piff. I hope everything's good. I haven't seen you guys in years. We should be doing that soon. I appreciate the, the dono. Merry Christmas, man. And to Biff. Bryce Dillinger is going to be coming down here. I can't wait to hang out with the guy. I want to get some food with him and really get to know him first. Then I'll let you guys get to know him. Come on. Socks, man. Love you, man. Continue with the legendary content. Are you guys enjoying it? You guys like the sketches? Is it good? Oh, this sucks. Watch this shot. Stay off! Uh, do you guys like it? Uh, let me see it. Sorry, so that's Old Hood. Thank you so much for that 10 bucks, man. Um, the content, I'm digging the content. We're trying to get funny stuff, but we're also trying to make it dreamy weird. That's, that's kind of what we're going for. Sometimes it's funny, sometimes it's real. Sometimes it's reality. Uh, you think I'm always good? I think I'm always great. No. I think I'm... Come on, star. There we go. Could go for the long target, but I'm going to go for this one. Ah! I got some practice. Um, what else is going on? What do we got? Okay, and Q, can I tell him about T? Yeah. Mm. T is uh, he's stepping away from uh, doing interviews around the globe. He said he was uh, getting tired of everybody else, like, getting some FaceTime, and he wanted it. And I said, you know what? You deserve it. So we're going to get T out here, and he's going uh, to make his way to the palace. And uh, we, you guys know he's a master bowler, right? So I want to go straight to the alleys and show him how to, uh, how to turkey it up. T, you out there? There we go. Comes the landing. Oh, God. Oh, you pigeon. Turkeys. What's a ham bone? What's a ham bone in bowling? CEO sketch is timeless. Funnier than the older, uh, the older you get. You bring that energy to any sketch, it's great. I appreciate it, man. It was, uh... It's how I feel at work dealing with construction all the time, so it's nice and easy for me. I didn't know a ham bone was four in a row. Is it? That's what it is? Ham bone's four? Does, does that pop up, pop up on that screen? Like the Turk? I'm gonna come in wide at this badass. Get those monkeys. All stream is perfect. Nice, thank you. Look at this. At least I stayed up. What's five in a row? Filet? Um, yeah, who knows? Have you ever gotten five in a row? Yeah, right. I haven't either. Hey, look it. I beat myself. Champagne. So we got a... Uh, let me try to think. Now I'm trying to think palace style. Oh, actually, we just might as well say, uh, so Charlie, Nick, Daniel, Sam, uh, pretty sure all of them, they're all in Texas. They're doing stand-up. They're getting that stuff going. That's going to be, it must be nerve-wracking. I'm intimidated to do that stuff. Uh, I actually... I feel like it's possible. It's possible, but I, I have never even attempted because I'm 
don't usually love the art of it, but maybe I could do it. I don't know. Good game, man. Thanks, Hood. All right. I'm going to talk to you guys while I do this again because I never, ever get to play this, and I want to keep playing. Kino Corner in. Going to see him tonight. Glad you're making it out there. Oh, yeah? Kino Corner, man. I'm only hearing good things. I'm hearing great things. Are you going to so gonna see them tonight? Cool. And that's in Austin? Is it Austin tonight? I know it's kind of like Mad Rush. What the heck's this, guys? I don't remember this part. What am I doing? Austin, and uh, I think I think I heard on Roachford's stream that Gillis, Gillis might come down. I, I don't know. He All I know is he called him and he said, like, we'll be down in your area. So I don't know if he's going or whatever, but that's pretty sick. I wanted to meet Gillis out in uh, at the Skank Fest, but I, he got sick, so I didn't get to meet him. But he's the best. He's my favorite for stand-up. Yeah, going to be there, the Vulcan, the place Rogan. That's right. Charlie said it was the place Rogan used to play at. Is it big? Is it? How many people does it hold? What is this? How many times we, uh, how many times we, yeah, the hell? I pressed it. I pressed A a thousand times. All right, there we go. We just rip this. God, man, I am off bad. I'm getting my practice in when Charles is in here because Charles start, started screwing around. He didn't get much more practice than me, but he was kind of like, he was already getting it. So I'm, I'm getting my practice in. Which state is the palace? Why, you want to stop by? It's in a state of madness. That's my only answer for you. But I do appreciate the 10 bucks. I, you know, I don't want to... People knocking at the door might be kind of scary. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? We're in New England. Yeah, we're in the New England area. You can hear my voice and how stupid I sound. God, what is there, wind? There is, isn't there? Shit. What's that thing? Oh, the Set break. The break. Oh. God, now that's how you do it, boys and girls and girl. Need armed security? All I have to do is call Epiphany. You probably do a pretty good job at that. Mm -mm. All right, let's go. So yeah, I do hope they. Uh, I hope they kill it out in Austin. I wish it was like. I wish it was streamed so I could see it live. But I guess. I guess you gotta sell tickets, right? <laughs> or it's tonight free, I don't know. I think you gotta, I think that it's like 40 bucks or something. No, no, no misunderstanding, man. I'm only busting. Look at this. Dude, that's crazy. Another 10 bucks for a misunderstanding, man? Come on. I love you back. It's all good. Hello, all right, what is your, <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I could tell you that information because you're not gonna like what you see. You'd be, fi you'd be fighting with me, like you're my wife. My wife doesn't fight with me about that, but I'm saying if you were my wife, you'd be fighting with me saying, how come you're not making any money? Loving the palace, it's the perfect balance. Fever dream, chat show, no one else is pushing it like you guys, dude. Thank you, Berserk, man. We are trying really hard and we're, I swear to God, we're putting in more time than people know. Yeah, than people think. It's it's a lot of work. I think I'm going too early on that. I am. Um, it's really it's like a it's like a full week thing. Is that the last round? I hope. So people know the schedules. So we show up at about three o'clock, and we're here till you know close on Sundays for the show. Then Monday. 
We're here from 8 to 4.30. Tuesday, we're here from 8 in the morning till 10 o'clock at night shooting. It's a lot of work. I mean, we're, we're here quite often. I mean, looks like I'm just having fun right now, which I am. But that's because we busted our ass Monday and Tuesday. Like a lot, a lot of hours. Just to deliver that unbelievable content. We've got a couple there doozies coming go. for you this week. Oh, it's too much. Too much. Came in too hot. Um, so, is that the last one? Uh, so, what I want to talk about. So, yeah, it's. I'm going to get back to that thought. Mind me. I have to just finish this one, then we'll talk for a bit. I just have to get this out of my system. Uh, I need nanas. I get that star. All right, as soon as I, if I land this target, I down the rest of my drink. Oh, that was actually pretty good. I tried. Looks like I'm down it anyway. <laughs> anyway, so it is a lot of work. Put in a lot of time with it. Thanks to anybody that is supporting us on Patreon. Our like, uh, our model, we're trying to just figure out a way to like beef up the Patreon so we can get more props so the sketches are better. We like doing the sketches. Obviously, we've been doing sketches forever. Like that's where we want to be. But it's tough to it's tough to keep doing sketches if you don't have money for props. So that's our predicament. So we want we're trying to get the Patreon beefed up so we can just keep buying stuff to make them better and better and better and do more of them. Also, be nice to uh, be nice to you know pay people for helping us out so much because the team is so big and they're all helping for free because you know it's the way it is. There's no there's no real budget yet. So anyway, I'm not bitching. I'm just saying it's a lot of it's a lot of work and I like doing it anyway. But um, when will it be the last? Oh, hopefully never, man. Kidding me? You already, you already looking for a finale? This is it. No. <laughs> Every week's a finale. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, man. There is no last episode. There's too much money invested in this uh, to not like charge and charge and charge and charge and keep making it better. That's the plan. Thanks, Ochi. Who's, what's Ochi saying? That was a shout out for me and Rob. Oh, yeah. It, for real. Yeah. Like Nick and Rob. Tons of work, Terry, tons of work, Bleach, tons of work. You know, Good Horse is putting in a lot of work. Um, a metric driver on the on, on it scoring all this stuff. It's a lot of heads, for real. That's a lot of heads doing a lot of work. And big thank you to the extras. The extras, mm. I mean, they're all like on call. They show up whenever we need them. Obviously, you guys see the repeats, but they're the best people. Super nice. Wicked nice people. Fun to be around. They get it. Uh, you know, they're just willing to help. That's like hard to find. So it's pretty, it's pretty crazy the team that's assembled for this. Um, you know, we're doing what we can with the money we got. That's it. Where's Charles? Charles is down in Texas. It's, uh, he's deep in the heart of Texas. He might not be there yet, but he will be. It's funny that CEO Eric Hayden is your favorite bit because it's mine too. Um, kidding. I'm just like rolling through chat. I'm just having fun. Honestly, I know this is just hangout nothingness. Data, who are you? Data? Yeah, I'm guessing some, someone that's helping us out, one of the extras. I'm just trying to figure out which, which extra. Oh, I was going to say, what the hell are you telling? Uh, what are you asking me for? Data? Uh, CEO, I'm pretty sure Roachfort, my guess is Roachfort wrote it because he knows, <laughs> he's good at like picking out people's strengths. And that's my strength being like a uh, small, small business owner, mad, mad man at the, at the, uh, at the end of my rope. He knows saying Andy's shooting a short film tomorrow. We miss Andy. Oh, where? 
I miss Andy a lot. Andy's, Andy's unbelievable. Andy is great, and he is a freaking fun friend to be around. It's the only thing I can say, and I do miss him. And I want to see him. I want to see him right now. Uh, oh, yeah, see you on the fish tank trailer. I thought that was a cool idea. Um, Alex Schultz, Be Nice to Me Productions. Kid's got good ideas, and he uh, he's... He's like, uh, he's very open-minded and he's uh, easy to work with. And that was kind of like, hey, this is what you're doing. I know I don't have to be nervous around that guy. He just like goes with the flow. And uh, it, <laughs> I mean, he's, he's really like, he's fun to shoot with. I don't know what else to say. That kid's good too. Um, it's, all, it's all awesome. I mean, I, I think everybody in our small circle of whatever the heck, whatever the heck that is, we found people that are fun to be around. And that's what you do. You don't like go to work and hate the people you work with. Uh, you'd, you'd get them whacked out quick. So uh, everybody you see at work is always awesome. That's nice. Uh, all right, what is this? Uh, chance you can host Athena at the palace. Of course there's a, there's, there's a chance I can host her with Charlie. That's a big chance. I'm kidding. It's just, it's a big chance. Time will tell. How about that? I'll say that. I know someone mentioned that Eggy will be coming out. Eggy will be coming out. We Eggy's even coming. Up. We got Eggy lined up for after the new year. So he'll be making his way out here. He'll be in some sketches and on. Uh, he'll be a guest on the palace. Um, Eggy's cool. I don't think you guys ever saw like the Kenny things that we were screwing around with, but uh, he came out for one of those shoots and I thought he, I thought he was awesome. <laughs> He's funny. And I don't understand how he can have the mind to improv rap the way he does. It's kind of like, it's kind of special. I don't know. It's, it's definitely like uh, entertaining. I could just drink and just listen to him do that shit. So anyway, get around a campfire with Eggy and you'll enjoy yourself. And, uh, and his acting's pretty good, so I'd like to see him in sketches also. But if Ruse is within four states of the palace, whatever states those might be in New England, uh, I, wa I want him on the palace immediately. I'd actually like him to be on the palace for a long time. He's, he's just great. And, on a, and you know what I'm hearing a lot about our house. Uh, that's a, man, top drawer. You're on to something. Our house watch party, palace stream with Andy. Uh, you kind of just like uh, entered my dream from last night. For real, that's, that is the dream. So you can bank on me trying for it really hard. Uh, what else we got? TG, I just can't wait to see you either, man. Get here, can you take an earlier flight? Or can you uh, transport here faster? Where is our house at? I have insider information that says that it's closer than it's ever been. And it's not like fluff. That's like last week fluff. It's good. It's legit. So count on that. I, I, I'd like to say count on that. I just, that stuff takes time. Sometimes it takes a long time, but I guess it's just going to be perfect when you see it. But that's not, that's no bullshit. Did you guys like the piece of subterranean? In the palace? Curious. You don't think we get bones on here if, we, if it's possible? Come on, guys. We're trying for it all. Yeah, and Trump, uh, he's next week. Trump? Trump's going to be tough. Maybe, maybe when he's next president. Maybe if he's elected. Do you guys hear about that? I think De Niro and Lady Gaga might be leaving again if he's elected. So, I mean, if that's not reason enough not to vote for the guy, I don't know. Think about it. It's a big deal. Bones and Trump on the same time. Ben Shapiro? What do you guys think of that guy? Sam skipped Fallout 2 in the future. You know, that's something that's been playing on my mind a lot lately. Like, I don't, like, Fallout 2 is, like, huge. I have no effing clue what any of that crap is, guys. Come on. But, hey, would I consider it? Of course I would. 
You guys just saw how I wrecked it, damn near killed it on Monkey Ball. Yeah, is that is that the thought, TG? Are you with me, Ben Shapiro? It's kind of tough. Like I think uh, there's a lot of people that would agree with everything he believes, but the way the guy says it is not likable. He personally is not a likable guy. That's my that's, that's my thought. Uh, who's she? Looks nice. You hear me? Oh, I hear you. I got you on that, bro. Yes, Murph. See, I was telling my brother that. He's like, what are you going to play? I said, probably just monkey ball. He's like, yeah, what are you gonna play? who are you going to play with? And I said, well, I don't know, myself, like usual. But he said, uh, you know, I'm like, well, I'd rather play NHL or this. And he's like, you got to play with other people. And I said, well, I'm like a sports game guy. I'm not, I'm gonna play, I'll play Rocket League. But it just, uh, you know, for me to sit down and play Resident Evil or something's tough. Say that like I know what I'm talking about. Resident Evil is the only thing I can think of. Uh, you don't know me, and I don't know you. Have my parasocial 10 bucks? Keep the energy coming? Well, what, the, what the hell does that mean? But I appreciate it. 10 bucks? Sure. I'm going to take your 10 bucks. Parasocial 10 bucks. I think parasocial's word got beat out by something. I was like, I don't know, that's a stupid thing for me to bring up. There's like, there's words that get beat up, beat out, and they like make like the word of the year in oh, Harvard. Was, yeah, I think it was like Raz or something like that. Riz. 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 Yeah, Riz is the word of the year. I appreciate all you do, Tregs. This seem ridiculous just sitting here not doing anything, but I, I just like talking and hanging out. This is the day for hanging out. Uh, all right, maybe I'll play. You know what? I should play something else while I do that. Now, wait, I got to talk to people for a sec. Hey, Eric, tuck this in your back pocket and go buy yourself a baseball card. Mmm, some baseball gum. Handsome kid, like, yes, I do need treats. Um, you guys know I collect baseball cards, right? I love baseball cards. I love Babe Ruth in particular. So anything Babe Ruth, I'm, uh, I'm puking over. Found a Babe Ruth card in, in the uh, in the base in, in no well in the, in the base in the base of a a trunk that fell out of a dumpster inside of a recycling facility that I was working at and it changed my life when I was younger. It's like this. Wait a minute. This is treasure. It blew my mind and it changed it changed my like thought process on. Well, you can actually find something in this world. It's not everything's not stuck in collections. You can actually find it at an estate sale. Blah 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 blah. blah. So there. From there on on, I, uh, I, I started doing estate sales and stupid shit and trying to find that crap. And it like, it's my, it's still my favorite thing in the world is trying to find something like a baseball, like a valuable baseball card and in a place where no one knows where it is. How stupid is that? I sound like I'm 12 and I kind of feel it. Anyway, well, I do know you and have 10 anyway. Dude. Okay, cool. Now, who is that? Do we know? Yeah, Barbados? Yeah. He's everywhere. Okay, well, you just know. Yeah, I know you. Thanks for the 10, man. I appreciate it. All right, funds for the case, huh? Okay, sweet. Berserk's coming in hot. And you've been coming in a lot, man. I really, really appreciate it. You've been doing a lot for us. Seriously. This stuff means a lot. We bought a new lens. That costs a lot. We just bought four new lav mics. It costs a lot. So... It, you know, all the money that comes in has been going out. It's just been making it better and better and better, even though we're still, like, you know, getting Every our ass kicked financially. We're still trying to even make it better on top of it. Everything for you guys. It's, it is. I'm trying to I'm trying to make this one really, really high quality. Obviously, Charles is sharing in that. Um, but we both, and, and the whole team, you know, like, we're all just taking it on the chin so it just gets better and better and better. There's no finale. I love you. So, all right, I'll pick this up. Is there something else? Is there anything else? Do we have anything downloaded? <laughs> I think just Luigi's Mansion. Oh, God, I'm not doing that. Watch a cartoon the whole day. Probably. 
probably would be better than what I'm doing with, with monkey talk. Yeah, but Want one more round? Yeah, give me another round while I talk to Pete. Right. Nah, Luigi's Mansion. I don't get it. You're just going around some placing, flashing flashlights, and it just doesn't go anywhere. All you do is watch cartoons. Good night, man. Yeah, it's over. You just won. Yes. Hey, man, thanks. Rage against the anal something. That sounds like, that's pretty good. Okay, let me get through this quick. Thank you for the 10 bucks, man. I really appreciate it. Here's my teeth. Game settings. Yeah. Round one. Ready? There we go. All right. I'm hitting every single one. Dead balls. Do you think green beans is going to be better than this at you when he gets here? I can guarantee it, but not if I don't practice from now until then. Look at this. Look at it. I'm, I'm like, now I'm, I'm really getting greased. Look at this. Get on the green. <sighs> Pretty good, though. Seeing you in fish tank commercial makes me realize how iconic the image of you in a dress shirt with an angry face is. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I don't know what to say to that. I'm not usually in a dress shirt. I am, uh, so it, it, it honestly is not the real me. And I'd like to think I'm not a full-blown jerk, but I'll tell you what, man. I got Manson lamps. There's something evil in me deep down inside. I can't be that good of an actor. Oh, uh, it's too slow. What are you, stupid? I'm stupid. You guys want to sketch with Eric's in a button down? I can do that. It's not going to end well. No. I'll be saying, uh, I'll be saying things like, um, so we're going to be taking this out of your paycheck, or what do you want to do? See? You just kill me? So we obviously just got this emulator working like two days ago. So mm. we're going to get a lot of games going on this soon. We only got it working like an hour before Brandon got here. This is too much fun, man. I'm like... There we go. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. This is so hard and awesome. I want to play for money. That's where Terry comes in. Mm-hmm. Hey T, what's uh, what do you think's the right move? Two bucks, two bucks a game spread between. Uh, I'd say it's more like five bucks if we got four guys going. Does that seem right? Like per five? Is it five or six rounds? I don't know. You got to think how long you'll be playing for. You might want to just do a dollar a round or something. Oh yeah, I got I got nice in around here. All right, so Noah Colvin, thanks for the ten bucks, man. Yes. I think ten bucks, he'll pop a nice and. Oh, yeah, I'll do that right now. It's six and one today. <laughs> I'm so bad. All right, give me a niacin. Good. They said it was good. This is my six one for real, though, so I got to go easy. Show the camera. It's not joking. It's nice. Pop some, like, candy. Just be careful, I almost swallowed my zin. <laughs> uh, 
God. <laughs> He's puking on me. <laughs> I'm not joking. I almost swallowed it. <laughs> oh, it's a whole new type of flush. I'm puking. Yeah, please like the stream. Yeah. Please. Press that button. Star. All right. Let me come in. That's, I want to get the break. I think that'd be big. Not bad, but 10 socks. Good. I didn't miss anything, right, Q? I'm just nope. gonna, I don't want to leave anybody hanging. Uh, did Terry get back on what the proper amount is, or is he, is he gone? Uh, no, he's talking. Let me see what he said. I think, like, two grand per round is good. All right, fine. It's going to have to... Uh, we're going to have to sell a couple of cameras to get it, but I'll do it because it's worth it. For real, I think uh, I think five bucks. I think five bucks for the round for like four guys over and over and over again. It's not bad. That's what I think it should be, at least for me, for my like uh, my bank account. Anyway, I don't know if I screwed around long enough in my data zip. What do you think, Q? It's up to you. Ah, uh, whatever. Actually. I don't care. I want to play one more time. That's how addicted I am. And I want to get good because there's money on the line. Is the game too loud? I don't know. I, I don't think so. All right. So Smash Brothers. All right. We actually do have so access to that. We'll get Smash Brothers. Is Smash Bros, though, Is it? does it make sense to only have... Like, like, I can I play that by myself, or should that be a, just a game where there's a lot of people? Isn't it four player, from what I remember? Uh, I don't own a GameCube anymore. I think Charlie does though. We're emulatoring it. Two to five per round is perfect. Okay, T, done. I think we'll do that for about twelve hours. We should play for Zin. It's not a bad play. It's actually not a bad play at all. Packs of Zin, just like we're in jail for smokes, we're gonna be doing Zin. I think I wasted a lot of my, uh, my, is, is a wind, the wind is something to really factor in. Oh, I can't reach her. Ooh, I got the break. Yeah, might be going too slow. Let's see what happens. Oh. This could be so oh, it's going to stick, right? What? I thought it was going to stick stick, like Velcro. Um, yeah, a pack of cigarettes, not worth doing. It really isn't. It's so stupid. <laughs> I mean, what is like your average smoker paying per week now? Probably like... At least a hundred bucks. Is that legit? That's insane. It's definitely not worth it. Plus, that stuff causes cancer. Here we go. That was like perfectly played. So it must have been the magnet. See the magnet on yes. the top. I had to. I had to pull the uh, the parachute because. I think if you hit it without doing it, you're toast. 109 for a carton of smokes, and how many are in a uh, carton? Terry said you have to take a shot of Brandon's whiskey if you lose every round. Yeah, that uh, Uncle's Dearest or whatever it is God is uh, pretty damn strong. It's 100 proof. We were already drinking so much. I, it was crazy. I was so tuned up. But Charlie's limber moves was making me laugh too hard, so I, I tried, guys. It was making me laugh, so we had to keep drinking. Plus, Brandon's cool, man. He's really fun, and he's a nice guy. So, I mean, if he wants to drink, you drink with him. It's the rules. Pretty much anything goes. I'll sacrifice the body every time. Speaking of night, uh, Zinn. 
He needed food. You know what? He was turning down the food tea. He was saying, we'll eat after. We'll eat after. I want this whiskey to set in. I said, okay. No, it did. Definitely did. Was I embarrassing? Hope not. Nicker had the way. Yeah. You think you think Nicorette's good? It gives me bad nightmares. Does it give you nightmares? Of course. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, that's why I stopped. I mean, maybe not any worse than anything else does either, but maybe it wasn't maybe it wasn't the Nicorette. Maybe it was my life. No, I'm just kidding. Dude, my life's pretty damn good. It's fun. Painting all this morning. What's that? Painting all this morning. Yep, this morning. Painting for three hours, doing the uh, nursery. The over for the for the twins. So I had to paint the walls. Now we got to set up all the the junk and get that all going. It's pretty cool. You know, you guys think I I fart around? You guys are nuts. Oh, I can't hit nothing. This wind. Sam gonna guest star in the palace soon, I'll tell you. I pray. I pray he will. I asked him, and he said he was uh, obviously right now, everybody knows that he's really busy with fish tank and stand up. So I think if he gets free time, there we go. Oh, I have a break. Um, if he gets free time, he said he's gonna be down. And I hope to God that's true. You know, and it's not that he'd be lying. It's just the idea that he'd be busy on something else. And I, I mean, what the hell? I can't blame a guy for being busy. Um, but I really, really think he'd be a great guest. So, yes, I want Sam on here. And I want him here yesterday. Moldog? Pfft. Be surprised if, if he would give, me, give us the time. But maybe I shouldn't be surprised. He was awesome. He was cool in person. And if he likes... Anything to do with world peace back in the day, like he said, maybe he'd come. Moldog's awesome. And did you guys like his special? I did. I loved it, actually. I think, so my two favorite, I'd like to say they're my favorite. I'm trying to think if there's anybody else, because I don't like stand-up. Not really. No, it would be, it'd be Shane and Nick, and I know that sounds crazy, but I think... Uh, there's a reason why this circle likes him so much, and it's because it's kind of my humor. I, I like those two. Yeah, is Dylan good? I just haven't listened to enough of it, T. His special was good. Nick Mullen is my best friend in real life. Really? Congratulations, man. Good friend. Why do I gotta line up these bananas to be, you know, not in line with this thing? Man, I'd suck at being a pilot. What am I gonna do? Nick Mullen's special is libtard humor. I don't know, man. No, oh, that's a weird. I thought it was pretty funny. I thought it was funny. Uh, and Gillis is is like unbelievable. Like I sit there with my wife and watch Gillis, and we cry laughing the entire time. It's like hanging out with Roachford. It's just like that. So Gillis is to me is just like you know it's hanging out with Roachford. It's fun. I'll just do it. I do it every night of the week. Um, Mullen, Mullen's special. Like I like the I like his take on on how he delivers lines and uh, and jokes and punchlines. I mean that's what it all is. Obviously that's what stand up's about. But I'm just saying like his uh, like his his joking about the uh, tucked bathing suit and and like the definition of a trans. 
That was a really funny joke. That's like, I was thinking that's the funniest joke there is. You know, like if you're these, I think some, something like um, you're gonna, the definition of, of trans is someone that's so upset with the genitals that they're going to kill themselves over it. And he said that's every single person in the world. Um, he can't count how many times he's looked down at his dick and then said, you know, I should just end it all. I think that's, that whole thing is really funny to me. That's a good, well-rounded joke. And if there was more stand-up like that, I'd love it. That's my, that's my uh, thought. I'd like to say that if anybody is in the Providence area on Monday, uh, the palace is going to be doing interviews. Terry will be in town. We will be interviewing for the palace. Um, it'll just be myself, Terry, uh, one, of the, one of the producers and someone else. So basically, if anybody wants to... Be in a palace interview. Come on down, meet us. Um, Eric and Charles, I do not believe will be there, but I think uh, I'm gonna try. Eric might make it. So if you want to come down and meet, come on down. We'll make sure we get an interview with you, and you'll make it on the palace that way. Whereabouts, Q? It'll be at the Providence Place Mall. So we'll we'll end up sending out a tweet and some stuff on Instagram, kind of saying where we are. But we're probably gonna do most of the shooting at the mall. It's gonna be Christmas time. It'll be pretty busy, and. Uh, yeah, probably starting late morning, um, not going too late, probably late morning to three, four o'clock. So I'm going to be there, I think, then, if that's the, the schedule. I want to see T anyway. Can you guys believe T is like, he's coming away from uh, traveling the world to hang this close? Get on. Whew. I ain't gonna win any money like this. You need some palace soap, full mode dot shop, baby. Yeah, T's, T's on to something with what he just said. T said keep the T on a low if you're gonna be there. We're not talking testosterone. Yeah, we keep, we're not even screwing around either. I got muscle coming with us too. It's, it's Terry, but. This game is called Monkey Ball, and this is Monkey Target. This is where you can make like $400 a night if you're on, so it's... <sighs> this is a game that has taken up hundreds and hundreds of hours of our time. Well, you wouldn't think so the way I'm playing, but that was... We added it up 14 years ago. Charles. Remember when I tried your glasses on the set? Well, Charles isn't here. So I'm gonna answer for him. Of course I remember, that was cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. I want to play games for you. Well, the wind is, is calming down and it's causing me to fall too early. Need your turn quicker. You stupid fool. Please like the stream. Yeah, please like it. What's not to like, huh? You have any good Charles impressions? Someone wants to see a Charles impression. You must. <gasps> hmm. Hmm. Man, that's crazy. Hmm. That's what I got. Oh, you bastard! Hey, do you want to know? Uh, um, Eric actually does a really good impression of uh, not Willem Dafoe. Who the hell is it? The like the Joe Dirt guy. The not David Spade, but um, oh, Christopher Walken. All right. It's kind of like, I would just say it's like stealing a line from something, but I'd say, there's no light. It's almost dark, you know? That's pretty bad. I have, uh, I drink, I've been drinking. <laughs> it's pretty bad. 
and you guys caused me to die again. I can't do an Australian one. Yeah, I, nobody can. Oh, well, actually, Rotra can, but I can't do one. Actually, you're right. It did sound like Al Pacino that time. <laughs> yeah, maybe I've been watching too much of that guy uh, who does the best Al Pacino impression in the world. Like, I don't even understand how his face changes. What's the guy's name? Uh, you know, he's in super bad as one of the cops. You guys know. Oh, yeah, the tall guy. Tall yeah, guy's um, guy's the best. Yeah, help us out. Who's the... Uh, yeah, Bill, Bill Hader. Hader. How unbelievable is his impression of Al Pacino? I mean, it's like the guy gets into the skin of him. I don't even know how anybody could do that, especially because I feel like they're completely different people. They want you to do a Chinese voice. Hmm. I said, what the hell are you doing? That's my I actually impression. have... Uh... You're gonna see a, you're gonna see our buddy Rob as a samurai. Yeah. You're gonna see some really good stuff coming up this weekend. Yeah, Rob, Rob nailed um, <laughs> Chinese British. Yeah, probably. Um, I said, what the hell are you doing? Um, <laughs> uh, Rob's Japanese. Whew. Rob's good. It's really good. <laughs> Rob's the best. <laughs> He's unbelievably good. We were crying laughing last night. This is like 10 o'clock last night. We're still shooting. And we were crying laughing. He was like, he's got the deep voice, so he can do it really good. Um, you guys will see that sketch. I think he is just a freaking awesome, awesome actor. And funny. Naturally funny. Everybody in the world would probably say, how is Eric just playing this over and over again? Well, that's because I'm retarded. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're here, you'd be retarded too. Yeah. You can't help it. You can't help but keep trying to get closer. Like I said before, money's on the line. T gets here, he's going to empty my wallet and my Zen pouch. Play the main game? I don't even remember what the main game is. Yeah, right. we could back it up and I could try, but I mean, I never did it, but let's do it. Yeah, just try it. Hold on. Look at this, Babu. Oh, you bastard from hell. Okay, how do I go back? Is it this? So this is the party games. Can you go back? Oh, there you go. Story mode. Challenge mode? Yeah, I might as well do this. It's only for one player. Nobody wants to hang out with me. LA Beast? Who's that? At the man? All right. Got LA Beast here. Everybody agrees? Tell him to get to the palace then. Let's see if he's let's see if he's that tough. Sounds kind of tough though. LA Beast. Speaking of tough, Eric's got a Eric's gonna get in shape a little bit. Oh yeah, guys. Yeah, we have something going on in a couple weeks on the palace. So after we talked to Brandon, I had my beer muscles. Started running my mouth. Hey, well, how do you keep going? Yeah. I, think I said next. You have to do DZ. I don't know. Hit end. Okay. I started getting beer muscles. I started running my mouth. Now I'm going to eat those words. I got a guy coming in that says he's going to kick my ass in two weeks. You, know, you got to face the music every once in a while. So I have to start training. I got two weeks to get in shape. Now, you guys don't realize this, but back in the day, I used to be jacked. Really jacked. So it won't take long. Two weeks is all I ever need to get in shape and to win any fight against anybody. But we seriously will 
watch that play out live in the palace. We got uh, someone coming up that someone coming up that wants to show Eric how to actually fight, and we'll see see if Eric wants to show him how to fight. Yes. Two weeks. And what kind of uh, he specializes in something? Yeah, he's a jujitsu artist. So we'll see how well uh, how well you do against a jujitsu guy. Against the guy with the belts, the karate guy. Sure. I have to do push-ups for like 15 minutes, and I'll be fine. Uh, Full extent of training? Yeah. <laughs> I don't need any more than that. You guys will see. This is going to be funny. It'll be a breeze. Uh, Eric and Sam boxing stream. I'm trying to think of how that fight would play out. I oh, know. I know his weakness. I think I, I think I would get my ass completely handed to me. <laughs> I think Sam might weigh, I don't know, maybe 100 more pounds than me, but that doesn't matter, guys. Not when you, uh, when you have my speed from 22 years ago. <laughs> uh, the American Dream, Eric Hayden. Sam is big. Yeah, he'd, he'd beat the absolute snot out of me, and, and so would anybody else you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I could never beat anybody up. That's the problem. But I can talk a big game, and hopefully I can win 9 out of 10 fights by talking my way out of it. That's my, that's my plan. Eric, right, do you have any idea what... I can't see behind the thing. Oh, Dan, okay. Um, uh, it makes people laugh in particular, I'd say. Um... He's just really good, and I think he's—I think he's—he's he's trying his hand a lot at uh, the stand-up stuff. I saw him in Skankfest; he was great. He's got a good presence. Um, I, I don't know. I—I I, I think that's mostly his aim. I—I I, I honestly don't know totally. I'd be speaking out of turn, but um, I'm not totally around what's going on in the office a lot, at all. But uh, but he's a but he's a really cool guy to hang out with, and he was funny, and he was great at stand up, and I think he's doing that with them. That's all I know. Uh, does anybody know what the hell this is? No. What the hell is it like? Is it like mini golf? Fine. Oh, all right. The Christ. Oh, it's timed? Jesus Christ. What is this? Oh, what, do I have to hit it at a certain speed to go through the ribbon? Jesus. <laughs> I guess so. Gosh, that's tough. Break the tape, yep. Something tells me it's not a good score. Just beat the game. I don't know, Terry. I was maybe I'll, let me let me try jumping. No, no other buttons work. I mean, take a left. Really? Why? I want to go through the tape. Yeah, you got to go around a whole circle to get there. Oh, thought it was a jump. This will make you sick. Yeah, well. Anybody handle these banks like me? Nah. Oh. Uh oh. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna puke. <laughs> this is unbelievable. There we go. Oh, there's no walls. <sighs> now I'm gonna go until I do puke.
This is crazy. Oh, you pigeon. <laughs> yes. All right. I'm, I don't even know if I can handle it, guys. <laughs> yeah, that's brutal. I'm going to vomit. Uh, anyway, I would just say this is like really fun to hang out. How about that? Uh, you know what? All right. Let's think about things. I got uh, soap is always there. Soap's been doing great. Thanks for buying that stuff. There is a holiday package thing. We should look at it again. Oh, that's done. Oh, is it done? Done? Yep. They're on the mail. Sorry. Missed out. Limited, limited amount. I'll say thank you to the people that actually bought it. We um, do we do have the gingerbread and the winter wreath that did hit the store. You can get them individually now, not just in the pack. So you get those for the season. We're going to run those till February. So there's that. And I will say, well, would anybody buy a t-shirt? Because we're working on a t-shirt right now. Would anybody buy one? Ty, we make them ourselves. Uh, not the teas. Not the teas, the soap. All right, need Palace merch. Need it too. Me too. All right, so we're going to get on that. Uh, anything else that we want to relay? Christ Dillinger, please tune in this Sunday. It's going to be a blast. We'll get Charlie fresh off the press and the plane. Um, he'll be a wild man by then, so we'll have them all tuned up. Street interviews Monday. Come meet Terry. Come meet Terry. I'm gonna pop in there too. And uh, is there anything else? Eggy is gonna be coming on, by the way. That's for real. Um, We're debating a New Year's Eve thing. We're not sure. Basically, the palace falls on Sundays. Christmas Eve is a Sunday. We're not going to have a show on Christmas Eve. We're debating doing something on New Year's Eve. We don't know yet. That's the thought. It's tough. Christmas Eve is, is no way. Might pre-record some crap to throw out, but um, that's going to be a hard one. Um, yeah, Eggy will be here on, I believe, the 7th. Uh, whatever weekend that is, he'll be a guest in January. Eric, real quick, how you doing? I'm doing good. I had fun. I had fun hanging out with everybody. I appreciate you guys coming down and hanging out with me, honestly. I know this isn't normally my thing, and I obviously suck at video games, but I was just chilling. Wanted to chill with you. Nice stream. Cool. I'm just going to say, see you guys Sunday. Get ready. Christ Dillinger is the man. There's a nuke in this club. Turn up. When she hear my song and make her wanna fuck, oh, I'm a fuck. Fuck. Got a giant butt. When I step in the club, I'ma fuck it up. I'm a